Anyway, I'm back. Yeah. What's going on? Let me get this mask So we're just about to hit lockdown. Sorry, I've been gone away for probably two weeks now. Not put up a video. I've got loads of content at home that I've got to upload it. You've seen all the controversy. As you can see, I've got a scar on the top of my head. I'm actually on my way to the hospital now to just get my last little checkup. I've been getting a shitload of messages. I want to say thanks to everyone who's been showing support. To be fair, I wasn't even going to shoot a video. I was going to add like a little 20, 30 second segment. I'm not even going to go into all of the nonsense, all of the lies that you've been hearing online. I don't need to contribute to that big part of negativity. Uh, I know people would love me to. I'm seeing a few messages saying, bro, you've got to explain now. I don't need to explain anything. All the evidence is out there. You can see what happened. My true fans and true followers of Living Life Fast, all they care about is me being all right. So there's going to be the odd people like, bro, you need to, nah, I don't need to anything, man. I'm good. There's nothing stopping me from making content right now. Me and Gav both own the Honda Civic, the EP3 Type R. This guy's been on to me forever. We're actually, we're actually in his Mark IV GT TDI. This car, like, it's been around the planet like 18 times. Like, what's it done? Like, 225,000 miles. Look at the pool. That's talk, real talk for you. Yeah, this thing's got a stage one map. And let me tell you, like anyone that's watching, if you're after a reliable daily driver, Mark IV GTT DR, I'm sure I own two. On three. You got three, yeah? Reliability, economy, <laughs> efficiency, looks. Man yeah. even banged in looks. Yeah, understand. <laughs> never broken down, right? Never, never, ever. Never, ever. Ever. So I have written down loads of video ideas. As you can imagine, I've been off for a few weeks. Onto the Civic, I've decided I'm gonna start sorting that car out. It's got a lot of mold on the seats. Uh, there's a few mechanical issues. Uh, we're gonna dig it out. I don't know if we're gonna do that today, but I'm already speaking about getting onto that, getting a detail, getting it all cleaned up. Back in the set, yeah? Quickly get my check up and uh, we'll head over to Evolve, go collect my M5, yeah? You know what? I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm loving this GoPro situation. I'm using the mic on the GoPro now. This is just so easy, just, it's not intimidating when you've got the big camera and that. It's all long. So yeah, M5's here, nice and clean. Gov, first time driving it. No, it's all, you've had a little drive already, innit? It's an event, it's an event. Yeah, you're gonna feel some power now. We wanna get some rollers, innit? We need some fuel as well, so we've got race fuel in that at the moment. How many miles? About 39 miles. Obviously running the spaces, carbon ceramic brakes, MSS suspension. We've had the RK Auto Works, Ford's bottom end. We've had the Auto ID black grills. You've got the Eventuary scoops there. And yeah, apart from that, gearbox software, Evolve Tune. Boom, bang, pull it, connect, innit? Jump in the Mark IV GT TDI. I don't know why he's got a GTI badge there. Yeah? I don't know about the workhorse. So yeah, I just left the hospital. We're all good, man. Just gonna go fill up some fuel in the M5. Let's go, champ. Let's go, champ. Let's go, champ. <laughs> that thing is off. My eyes went back into the head. <laughs> I was like, shit, I weren't ready for that. Bro, for you see how I went through them gears? Yeah, it went to third. It's Bro, wrong. Bro, gone. gone. <laughs> back to the future. <laughs> back to the future. <laughs> the way it hooked up, it gripped as well. Yeah, man. Pure grip. I was like, Bro, I let, let me tell you, visually, gone. Trust me. Did it just conk out and go like judder a bit? Yeah, that's just it's the ghost, I think. Oh my lord, Ricky. And I bought an iPhone 12 Pro. Oh, got the square bezel like the iPhone 4, I think. Very light, I don't like these fingerprints I'm leaving on it. Got all the cases. I'm thinking to start vlogging with this, but after vlogging with this GoPro today, I'm thinking, you know what, it might just be about the GoPro. One thing we spoke about is actually VMAX 200, so, for some of you that don't know, you may have seen like videos going around and whatever. I actually only did one run at VMAX. I did 207 miles per hour, making my car, I think the 14th fastest car at VMAX. There's around 70 or 80 cars that turned up and I think that's quite a result. Anyone that's been to VMAX, you know you do four or five runs. Your first run is your Walmart run, you could say. Yeah, I had 105 kilo passenger. On top of that, I was running my pump map. I didn't even have my race map loaded. Didn't have race fuel in the car. Forget any Chinese whispers you've been listening to. I did one run at VMAX. I did 207. My aim was to do, like, hopefully 215 miles per hour. Anything more than that, I'd have been... Uh, very happy with but yeah the, the the m5 performed beautifully if i'd got the race map on and put race fuel in and got a few runs back to back who knows what 
the result would have been. I don't know if I've uploaded the video yet with Arthur with the TTRS, but that is now the world's fastest TTRS. He's just done a 3.2, 100 to 200. I think that this M5 is definitely going to get into the three second range, definitely when we change uh, the turbo housing. We may even change the turbos, we don't know yet, but VMAX is interesting, it's fun, but as I already said, I don't think it's a true measurement of how fast your car is. I mean, let me give you an example, yeah? There's a guy called Buzz on Instagram, yeah? He's got basically the same build as what I'm doing to my GTR, yeah? Exactly the same. Maybe one or two bits are going to be different, but his car is running like 1,700 horsepower. I don't know if it was running 1,700 horsepower on a day, but he did 234 miles per hour with a 1,700 horsepower build. But there was another GTR there that has uh, 1,200 horsepower. So you're talking a, a potentially a 500 horsepower difference but that g did 230 miles per hour. Buzz only did four miles per hour faster. So in a real world racing situation, Buzz's car is gonna be light years ahead. It, it, it'll demolish almost everything in the UK. Um, so yeah, hopefully some of you will understand that theory. Shout out to VMAX, they're probably not gonna let me go back because of all of the drama that's gone on. It is what it is. We're just waffling. I just wanted to shoot some random vlog today and just let you all know that I'm good, I'm back. We're gonna be making videos. Uh, I've got like probably about 30 videos lined up. We are about to head into lockdown. Hellcat wise, uh, I've just ordered an exhaust. I've got wheels, I've got a body kit going on it. We've also got a tune going on that car. So there's loads of content we've got for the Hellcat. That car has been a little bit neglected. I just came up the phone to Jürgen earlier about the GTR build, so the owner of JM Imports. The GTR build is about to begin. He's told me I can bring the car in for the 10th of November. All of the parts from Boost Logic have landed. Uh, Turbochargers, intercoolers. We've got the stroker kit from T1 Racing. That's landed. I've got the gearbox upstairs right now. So I'll take the gearbox parts with me. Uh, I'm just trying to think where else I've bought suspension, man. There's, this is a serious build, man. The GTR build is obviously a bit more serious than the M5 build, but, you know, it's still for fun. It's still for, for content for YouTube, for your guys' pleasure. Do you know what I mean? I'm not out there to try and break records. I'm definitely going to try set some times, you know, considering we've gone this far into the build. I'm definitely going to give it a go and see what we can do uh, numbers-wise. You know, maybe do a, a couple of Santa Pod runs and uh, hopefully there could be some other events where I could do like a, a top speed run. But yeah, if you have watched any of the VMAX videos, there was a blue GTR, Sonic GTR, met the owner, really nice guy. Uh, his GTR did 244 miles per hour. So, um, you know, these GTRs, like, it's like they've got the records and everything. You've got the twin turbo Lambos, twin turbo R8s, but, you know, unless you go like 2,000 horsepower or 1,500, 1,600 horsepower on an R8, uh, that's when they become like ridiculously fast. So guys, I am going to end the video there. I know it's a bit of a negative video. I'll probably look a bit down. As I say, I'm still recovering, but I'm definitely back. I'm going to be cracking out these videos. We're about to hit lockdown. Try to stay positive. It's going to be a real negative time. I don't know, like we've all got our different theories, different beliefs of what's going on, but you know, just try to stick to the rules, stay at home, take the opportunity to have a rest. But this time I'm definitely going to try my best to keep you guys entertained. Uh, with some YouTube videos. So I've got a load of drag racing videos that I need to upload. I've got loads of other bits uh, that need editing. So guys, I'm going to end it there. Please hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to the channel and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.